Hello, I'm David Jarrell. I'm a partner in Bowman Gilfillan's uh, Pension and Medical Scheme Benefits Practice Area. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you briefly about the proposed National Health Insurance Plan. Uh, it's been in the media a lot recently, um, but the nuts and bolts of the discussion so far is that there hasn't been much uh, formal documentation to work with. So in the ANC's election manifest of 2009, they announced the intention to introduce a national health insurance, which basically would be a universal medical coverage, which would ensure what they refer to as social solidarity, whereby the employed and the, the better off in society would fund and subsidize those who aren't employed to ensure that everybody in the country has access to medical benefits um, at a single uh, point administered by the government. Now, the, the proposal is that the state will effectively create a national health insurance administrator, which would buy medical services from public and private sector providers and make those available to anybody in the country on presentation. So there'd be no need for a deposit, no need for medical scheme membership in order to obtain access from any place that you attend to for medical services. The Minister uh, of Health has recently published uh, a notice in the Government Gazette of a National Health Advisory Committee and they have a mandate to establish a, 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 an implementation plan by June 2010 and the idea is that the actual implementation process would run over five years from June uh, 2010. Now the, the interesting part, the, the, the challenge or the opportunities for different stakeholders as far as employers and employees goes uh, there will be probably a payroll tax implemented, in other words, a levy on everybody who's employed to contribute to this national system. The idea seems to be that everybody would be able, would be required to carry a national health card and would access medical services at a point that is geographically proximate to where they presumably reside or work. Uh, so anybody within a particular geographical area can access theoretically any healthcare facility within that area. I think the challenge for medical schemes would be how they would contract or interrelate with the state uh, as far as providing services goes. The challenge for doctors and other healthcare providers like hospitals would be that the state would now be the primary negotiating party for the price of services. So within these environments uh, there will be a number of legal challenges and lots of lobbying opportunities and our message really to the public is not to panic, there isn't anything in place yet, but the state has, has committed to a plan of action and really stakeholders should be vigilant, uh, should participate in the legislative process and should make sure that they understand what their personal work challenges are and ensure that the process, however it unfolds, takes cognizance of their interests.